I'm going to show you how you can show a location map right within a SharePoint list or library using a new field type called the geolocation field type. I'm going to use this HR contacts list. First thing I'll start out by going to the settings page for the list. And from there I need to add that column for the geolocation information. Now that is a site column so I'll say let's add from the existing site column. I know for a fact that that geolocation column is in custom columns group. So I'll go there, pick the location. That's the column for geolocation. Let me check that. Here it is. It says location and then the type is geolocation. Now I'm going to go back to my list and in that list I'll make a new contact. When creating a new contact, I'll have all the regular fields for the contact list, like the first name, last name, address, phone number, etc. And I can go ahead and fill all these things out regularly. So I'm going to go ahead and fill my own name out in this case. Here's a location column. And in here I can specify a location or I can use a current location. In this case, I'm specifying the location. I need to specify the latitude and the longitude. To find that, I'm doing an actual search now on Bing Maps. And here it is, my hometown Chicago, that's the latitude and the longitude. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up, copy that information into this form. Once I have the latitude and longitude copied in that form and press OK, it will actually give me a preview of that map. So let's check that out. It shows the location right in the middle of Chicago. That's downtown Chicago. I'm going to go ahead and save that. So this is still my default view and now it shows this globe icon which I can click on and get the, get the map. That's one way of doing it. Another way is to create a new view and that's specifically a map view. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's the new map view type. Let me go ahead and use that. I'm going to be using this view to show information about location of my people in the organization. So I'll call it something appropriate to that. Once I've named it properly, I'm going to go ahead and check to make sure that the location column is selected. That's key for this to work. Click OK. And here it is, here's my map showing exactly the location of this contact, which is me in this case. Let me go ahead and make a new contact and it's gonna to be Tom Smith in this case. And he lives in New York. So I'll specify location for New York by doing the actual search on Bing map. Once I find the latitude and longitude needed, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that just like I did for myself one by one. Once I have that, it will show me the map information preview for this contact right there in that form. So if you do everything correctly, you'll see that right there. Click Save. And then after that, you're all set. You have all the information right there on the list or library showing the content information right in the list.